Uh, what made you want to do this in the first place? <laughs> uh, because I thought it would be fun. Thank you. And uh, contrast it with all the serious stuff in the United States Senate, it would be a good diversion. And who knows, I might succeed and find something worthwhile to do. I understand you're uh, a, somewhat of a regular here at the Improv. How, how often do you come? Or? I don't think I've ever been here before. Oh, really? <laughs> what about in Philadelphia? Do you go to comedy clubs there? Uh, I went to one a long time ago, and I went to a second one, Stuart Bykowski, in 1998, uh, when I was up for re-election, then he invited me back in 2004. I guess I must not have done too well. The, um, how long were you working on this tonight, the, your uh, material preparation? Uh, a couple of hours. Only a couple hours you put in? Uh, I uh, dug through some old materials and thought about some stories I heard and uh, a couple hours. Yeah, any help? And, uh, some people have uh, supposedly uh, spent, not this year necessarily, but past years, as much as $10,000 hiring uh, writers. Uh, really? In that case, I'll apply for the job. <laughs> Did you have any assistance? No, no, I don't have any. If, no, nobody, I didn't hire anybody for pay. And my staff made a lot of suggestions. They gave me a lot of one liners because some of them were good. But but uh, to do one liners, you gotta sort of be a pro and you gotta have a lot of them in your head. And what I have in my head are about uh, a dozen stories. And I'm gonna tell as many of them as the time will allow. But I'm gonna divide it into three parts clean, questionable, and highly, highly questionable. And I don't know if I'll get to the highly, highly questionable, which might be categorized uh, in stronger terms uh, within the a lot of time. Is uh, the really, really objectionable uh, questionable based on uh, the language or uh, who the uh, targets might be? Uh, would you like me to tell you one? Sure. Yeah. Well, I won't. <laughs> Give us a hint. <laughs> I just did. <laughs> I just did. I, I tell you, I just I just went over the highly, highly question with the Joan. She's just got off the train. She's in the condo, and she approved it. And so did Lisa Boyd, my uh, finance director. To, to Kate, uh, let's get the side. I wanted a few approved. I want three good-looking blondes to approve them. Did uh, they tell you not to do any jokes that you were thinking of? Uh, well, uh, Louisa was had a question on one of them, but the Joe said it was okay. Um, just the start of a new career? <laughs> well, I could use a new career. And uh, uh, if I succeed, uh, I may uh, apply for a job here. Of course, I have a day job, and I can work here nights. Okay. Thank you very much, Senator. Really? We'll see. What comedians do you like, sir? Huh? What comedians influence you? Well, I'm really not much into comedians. The only ones I can think about when Steve Wilson asked me the question was Joe Biden and Milton Berle. <laughs> Joe Biden's not a funny guy. Two of the time. And I, I'm not sure that Milton Berle qualifies in his league. <laughs> Hello, Suzanne.